right, folks, welcome back again. And today we're going to be talking about number sets. So number sets. So the first thing we want to talk about is the natural number. So natural numbers, the symbol is N. And natural numbers is any number that starts from 1, 2, 3, 4, into infinity and so on and so on. Or it could also be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and infinity. So depending on the, the department of mathematics that you are, you could be using this one or you could be using this one, one, two, three, four, and so on and so on, or to infinity, or it's gonna be zero, one, two, three, four, and infinity, or and so on. The next thing that we wanna talk about is an integer. The symbol for an integer is a Z. And what is an integer? It's any natural numbers, including negative numbers as well. So we might have negative five, infinity, negative 5, negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, 1, 0, 1, 2, and so on and so on. So these are integers. And the next thing I want to talk about is rational numbers. So a rational number is any number that can be represented in the form of a quotient or a fraction. As you can see, Q over P, where P must not be equal to 0. Because if p is equal to zero, it's, it's automatically undefined. So the next thing that I want to talk about is irrational numbers. So irrational numbers, an example of irrational number will be pi. So you know the value for pi is 3.145 and so on and so on. And this cannot be in the form of a quotient or a fraction. So we can, those are numbers that we can put them in the, into a fraction or a quotient. So those are irrational number so anything opposite of a rational number is irrational number and then the next thing that i would like to talk about is real numbers so real numbers the symbol is r and real numbers is a combination of both rational and irrational numbers so an example would be pi plus maybe two over four so Pi plus 2 over 4 is an example of real numbers, which is a combination of both rational and irrational numbers. The next thing I would like to talk about is imaginary numbers, and the symbol is i. So imaginary numbers is any numbers, if you square them, you'll get a negative value. So an example would be, if we score square i, you will get negative 1. So the negative 1 here, so it's a negative value. So this is uh, an imaginary number, and this is the same as i equals to the square root of minus 1. And then this is not the same as the square root of 2 because we won't get a negative value. So the next thing I'd like to talk about is a complex number. So complex numbers, the symbol is c, so it's a combination of real numbers plus imaginary numbers. So an example would be a plus bi. So this is a complex number, so we can have 2 plus 3i. So this is a complex number. So that's it, folks, for number set.